the Dell PowerEdge T20. There's nothing really remarkable about this $638 mini tower, except for one thing. Dell dropped the price to $249. What features does a $249 server include, and how well does it work as a server and as a desktop PC? Let's take a look. Inside a brown cardboard shipping box, we find a Dell PowerEdge T20, a power cable, and product literature. In front, there's a DVD burner, four USB ports, and two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. Out back, we find a gigabit ethernet port, a nine pin serial port, six USB ports, a 15 pin VGA port, two display ports, PS2 inputs, and two more 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. Inside, there's a quad-core Haswell Xeon processor clocked at 3.2 gigahertz. The integrated GPU is an Intel HD P4600. For memory, the system has four DIMM slots and ships with one four gigabyte DDR3 ECC module. There's support for four 3.5 inch SATA disks and two more 2.5 inch disks if you leave out the DVD drive and add in an optional SATA controller. There's also a 290 watt power supply and four expansion slots. A one terabyte SATA hard drive is also included. To evaluate the T20 as a small server, we're using Red Hat Enterprise Linux for a combination firewall, router, and file server. Inside, the Linux server has three hard drives using software RAID 5, a fourth hard drive for backups, two mirrored 2.5 inch SSDs for the OS, and a dual port gigabit ethernet adapter. So far, we've used the T20 as a server for two and a half years without a failure. To evaluate the T20 as a desktop PC, we're using Microsoft Windows 10. For storage, the BIOS doesn't support NVMe booting, and so we chose a SATA SSD, the one terabyte Samsung 850 Pro. For memory, we maxed out the T20 with four eight gigabyte ECC modules for a total of 32 gigabytes. For graphics, we chose an EVGA GTX 1050 Ti with four gigabytes. The GPU is powered by the PCIe slot, Using a higher wattage GPU with supplemental power would have required replacing the 290 watt power supply with a $15 adapter cable shown here. The adapter converts a standard ATX 24 pin power supply connector to Dell's 8 pin motherboard power supply connector. We also downgraded the BIOS to version A5 to allow sleep wake support, which Dell removed from newer BIOS versions. For remote access, Shown here we enabled Intel AMT for remote KVM and enabled Wake on LAN in the BIOS. We also installed Duo Free Edition for multi-factor authentication. Duo supports phones, tablets, and wearables. In terms of performance, the T20 is relatively small and is extremely quiet. Geekbench returns a single core score of 3,764 and a multi-core score of 10,268. This makes the Xeon CPU performance faster than the i5-7200U we recently tested in a Gigabyte Bricks mini PC. For graphics performance, while the GTX 1050 Ti is fairly low end, during casual gaming Overwatch averaged over 60 frames per second on high settings at 1080p. Older games like Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefield 4 also ran very well averaging over 60 frames per second on ultra settings. In terms of value, on the positive side, the T20 supports configuration price points from $249 out of the box, to $359 with a base GTX 1050, to $404 with eight gigabytes of memory, to $455 with an SSD. On the negative side, the disks are SATA, not PCIe. There is no Wi-Fi, and the memory is DDR3 instead of DDR4. And now for our conclusion. Dell just discontinued the T20 and replaced it with the T30, which supports a V5 CPU, more PCI 3.0 slots, 
HDMI video, and 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. The T20 may still be available in the marketplace for a short period of time. The T20 was routinely on sale during its life cycle, and we expect the T30 will have sale pricing as well. A word of warning, we're not sure if the T30 supports sleep-wake, which would be important for a desktop PC. In our experience, the T20 works well as a desktop PC for business applications, as an entry-level gaming PC, as a small network server, or as a small storage server. If you're looking for a cheap, pre-built PC, during sale pricing, the Dell T20 and T30 are versatile and recommended. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe and leave comments below. And so long until next time.